In this video, we'll look at the resonance structures of PO43 minus. This is the phosphate ion. So when you draw the Lewis structure for the phosphate ion here, probably the first thing you'll draw is right here, this structure here with single bonds. So each atom has an octet. You've used all the valence electrons. Looks like a pretty good Lewis structure. If you calculate the formal charges, you'll see that this probably isn't the best Lewis structure. So let's write the formal charges for all of these resonance structures and then see which one's the most favorable. So for this structure here, the only difference between these four right here is that the double bond, it's moving around. It's in a different place. Everything else stays the same. So I've only drawn formal charges just for this one right here. Over here, you can see the formal charges. We have negative one, two, three, four, and the phosphorus has a positive one. So this all adds up to the charge on the ion here, this three minus. For this one though, we have negative one, two, three. Negative three matches the charge. Everything else is zero. When we look at formal charges, the best structure, the more favorable or likely Lewis structures, are the ones that have formal charges closest to zero. So these end up being closer to zero, but still matching the charge on the ion. So this right here, this is what we consider a minor resonance structure. These here will be the major Lewis structures. They're considered equivalent Lewis structures just because we're moving the double bond around to different places. I should probably put another one of these arrow things here. And note that these symbols here, it doesn't mean that we have four different structures that are switching back and forth between each other. What we really end up with is an average of these resonance structures. And in this case, because these are the major resonance structures, the average is mostly between these ones here. And that'll look like this. So we have our phosphorus in the middle, and then these are the oxygen atoms here around the outside. And this structure represents the average of these major equivalent resonance structures here. So we don't have double and single bonds. They've all been averaged together in one structure. And this is what the phosphate ion would look like in an experimental setting in the real world. So to recap, we do the Lewis structures. We check the formal charges. And the structures with the formal charges closest to zero, those are the major resonance structures. For the phosphate ion, we have four, which we then average together. And this is what we would see in the lab. This is Dr. B with the resonance structures for the phosphate ion, PO4, 3 minus. Thanks for watching.